we've had a lot of recent experience in um, healthcare. And for me, it was when my father passed away a little over four years ago. Um, he was very fortunate in having a wonderful end of life experience and I felt privileged to have been there. What I realized in going through those final months with him, the final weeks in particular, was how critical it was to have a support system. And being from a large family, I was very fortunate to have that. Um, it made me realize that not everybody does. And wouldn't it be wonderful if everyone could have such a, a team of caregivers and team of um, healthcare providers that my father had. Uh, as we learned how to qualify uh, franchises, Bright Star Care became, became the leader uh, right up through the end. We looked at a lot of different criteria. Uh, what was important to us were having multiple revenue streams, we were uh, very interested in the people who were behind the, the franchise, and that really stood out at us. Uh, we wanted to know that people who were running the franchise were in it for the right reasons, uh, for similar reasons that we were into it. Uh, the standards really um, stuck out to me, coming from a science background. Uh, the standards of care um, that are in place at Bright Star really spoke volumes uh, as to um, the type of organization that Bright Star is. Uh, it's really where we want it to be um, and it, it was calling to us. The fact that Bright Star Care has 24-7 uh, RN oversight, that we would be there at the other end of the phone every time it rang. We'd be able to staff uh, and meet the needs of the client at every uh, stage of uh, of care that, that is needed um, so that they, they could essentially stay with Bright Star, um, develop a relationship with our caregivers, and move them through the process without having to leave the organization um, and um, really break the relationships that we build with them.